Hello everyone, this is Gabby from A Different Place and I have a Trader Joe's haul for you today. It is Monday, November 22nd, 2021. I actually had to go to two stores because I was looking for the Trader Joe's cornbread stuffing and they're out. I was told at the second store that they received a shipment in October um, in our area. I'm in Central Florida and they're out and that's it. So I'm devastated. Um, plan B. So anyway, I was able to pick up some other things that I really like. So I'm going to start over here with the Trader Joe's natural turkey, brined uh, young turkey. That came out to $22. And this is New World Farms Fine French Beans, Trader Joe's Mango Chunks, some mango sorbet. It just looked really good. The Organic Tropical Fruit Blend. And this I always get, um, I add this to my stuffing. It's just one less chore. It's already chopped up. You have celeries, onions, and carrots, and it's really good. This I'm going to add to my meal also, the holiday vegetable hash. Look at all the good stuff that it has in it. I can't wait. Probably mix this with that, but I'm not too sure yet. I got some cranberry sauce. And uh, let me just go over here. This is so good. This soy chorizo, the regular chorizo irritates my stomach, but I'm able to tolerate and enjoy this. Last year I bought it and I made empanadas. Um, so I mixed the um, chorizo, I sauteed it first and mixed it with potato. And that was the filling for the empanada. It was so good. So I got two. Um, and I'm going to incorporate this too, the Trader Joe's Italian Sausage Less Sausage made from soy. See how that works, you know. Have to be creative this year. My favorite blueberry waffles. Next to it, roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. The traditional latkes that I have not purchased in a while. Um... My grandmother was Polish, my grandmother on my father's side. So we grew up with her um, making us potato pancakes um, over the weekend. And I also got the Trader Joe's hash browns for my son. This I saw on another channel and I just had to have it. Trader Joe's shrimp seafood burgers, grill, bake, or pan fry. It just looked delicious. So I can't wait to have that. My favorite uh, toaster pastries, cherry pomegranate and strawberry. My son prefers a strawberry. This is my favorite. My favorite indulgence, my coffee. I love coffee. Wintry blend ground coffee. This is sprinkled with spices. So it has, I think, red and green. Um, let me see. Vienna roast, and it's spiked with a blend of zesty red and green peppercorns, whole cloves, and chunks of sweet cinnamon. It's really good. It's so aromatic, like when after it's brewed. Oh, it's really good. So I got two, and this is the one that I missed last year, the gingerbread coffee. So this has, um, what does it have in it? Light sprinkling of spices, uh, which is... Cinnamon, ginger, allspice, nutmeg, and cloves. I don't mind that. Sounds delicious. And I always pick this up for a quick meal in the weeks. The chicken, I'm sorry, the mandarin orange chicken and the chicken fried rice. It goes really good together. Back there, the hot cocoa snowman. Um, one of the girls that worked at, I think it was the first store, she just looked at me and she says, here, you got to take one. So I added that to my grocery list. She was so cute. And two buck chuck, Merlot, which is really good. And um, I like to make crock pot pizza. Uh, my son requested it uh, this week. So this is ready to bake pizza dough. And I always um, put this in it, which is the Genoa salami and provolone cheese. And um, you just use whatever marinara sauce you have or pasta sauce and it goes really good. And just in case, some organic um, pumpkin, because I always have stuff to make pumpkin pie. Pum pumpkin pie is my holiday favorite. My favorite uh, Trader Joe's Super Nutty Oat Cluster Cereal, a blend of oat clusters, 
flakes, pecans, almonds, and Brazil nuts. It's really good. And this I also saw on another YouTube channel. The eggplant garlic spread with sweet red peppers. Uh, spread that on some uh, Italian bread or something. Just toast it up. Uh, put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on it. Who knows? This you have to get. If you go to Trader Joe's, you have to get this 21 seasoning salute. It's good on everything, especially your holiday meal. The onion salt also really good. And um, the mushroom and company multi-purpose umami seasoning blend. I think this would go good with uh, your green bean casserole. And I forgot to buy mushrooms. Could you believe that? One more trip outside that I'm dreading. And on the way out, this organic fair trade dark chocolate espresso um, candy bar, 60% cacao. And it had um, chopped up like little pieces of um, espresso bean because I wasn't able to get coffee this morning on the way out the door. So I needed something and it was wonderful. <laughs> I love coffee. I love coffee. And I did pick up another favorite, which I uh, showed you on another video. Give me one moment. I'm back. The Target Good and Gather coffee brand. It's um, it's like Barney's coffee. So good. Very aromatic. Pick some up. Five ninety nine a bag, but it's worth it. Okay, don't miss out on that. And um, Back to what we came here for, Trader Joe's Hall. Um, I guess I'll see you at the next one. So don't forget to be safe, be wise, be well, and most of all, be happy. And I'll see you at the next Trader Joe's Hall. Enjoy the rest of your week, and happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Hello, me again. I forgot to show you guys the Trader Joe's organic completely cacao chips this is unsweetened chocolate chips it's a hundred percent um ivory coast cocoa beans and this is the actual size i uh, just want to read to you the ingredients which is organic unsweetened chocolate this may contain milk soy almond coconut hazelnut pistachios but I just wanted to show you, sorry about the glare. It's raining out here, so the lighting here is a little bit um, off. So I know I was forgetting something, but I wanted to make sure I included it. So anyway, see you guys at the next Trader Joe's haul. Enjoy the rest of your week, and happy Thanksgiving. Bye.